guys, my name is Robert Charles, and today I'm showing you guys having eggs. So today we're going to start off with a basic recipe of scrambled eggs and fried eggs with some toast. So first thing that you're going to obviously need is your cooking utensils. So right here I have a nice small pan, and if needed, a wooden spatula. Now the ingredients are quite simple. What you obviously need are some eggs. I have three pairs of eggs right here. Three eggs. Olive oil. You can use butter if you like too, but I like using olive oil. Salt. And pepper. Another thing that you also need is plate. Uh, I like to use a large plate because it helps obviously hold a lot of things. Smaller plates are harder to eat off of. Uh, something that I also like to do is have sauces on. Uh, I like having ketchup and hot sauce. And for toast, I like using regular white bread. Now start cooking. So first step, we want to turn the power on. We set it to a nice medium heat so we can start cooking the food. Right now is when I'm going to put on some olive oil, lightly drizzle it. And with the wooden spatula, just start stirring it around. Pan hilt away from you. Wait a couple minutes for the oil to heat up. Go wait until the oil is heating. As you can see, it's receding and moving around in the pan. All right, I think that's good. Another tip: always have the trash can open and ready for when you depart your eggshells. Now let's start. To crack an egg, I don't usually do it off the bowl, I do it off the pan itself. Uh, one nice hit on the edge of the pan will actually do a good job. So let's just start with that. You place your thumb and indent. Thumb on the indent right here. And open up the egg. With the egg shells, just discard them into the trash. And repeat with the other egg. While the egg is still soft, that's when you want to apply seasoning. Salt. I like doing two parts salt and one part uh, pepper for every single egg that you do. Now I'll your seasoning in. Move it around the pan. Now here you can always just up the heat whenever you want. Keep it at low if you want. Right now I'm going to measure up the heat. Make sure it actually cooks. Make sure you're always moving around the eggs in the pan. Like one part isn't always cooking, but make sure that sometimes you can always have it sit for a while. Get our big round plate, this to the side. You just scrape it off onto the pan, onto the plate. And now we'll start with our fried egg. Now, since we have leftover oil in the pan, we can obviously just don't have to put any more oil into it. Alright. Now, with the fried egg, it's obviously a lot harder to cook because it's obviously going to be a lot faster. I'm gonna lower the heat right now so I can obviously have time to talk. So obviously you can tell with the fried scrambled egg, it looks pretty nice. Nice small quantity, even though it's still two eggs in there. Uh, I noticed that fried eggs are gonna have a larger area. Always keep this amount of plating. 
think we're ready to start cooking at this heat. So do the same process as cracking up the eggs with the scrambled ones. Since it's on a higher heat from the last cook, then it's gonna whiten faster. So that a little faster. Pour the salt. And half a part of pepper. Make sure you get a nice circle. If you need to fix the shape of your egg, just work with the spatula. You'll know when your fried egg is ready to flip, when it starts popping, smoking, or making unusual sounds. But you can also tell if it starts to gain a different texture when it started off. Sift it around in the pan to make sure it doesn't get stuck to the pan. Once you make sure it's not stuck, you can obviously just sift it around the pan. You could flip it over without a spatula, but today I'm gonna to show you how to use it with a spatula for safety. So obviously make sure your spatula is in your right hand or your dominant hand, and make sure you have a firm grip on the pan. What you wanna do is just kind of make the edge jump onto it. Your method is putting it on the edge of the pan and sort of scooping it with a spatula. <laughs> Sometimes it'll be a little more difficult depending on the egg. But eventually you'll get it done. Every flip will be perfect, but eventually we'll get it done. Wait a little less time, definitely when it starts cooking, because this obviously will be less amount to cook. <coughs> now since it's a dry one, we can obviously show you how to cook it over without actually turning it, without actually breaking it. So here, put it on the edge, and once you flip it over, give it a nice kick. There. Now as you can tell the egg is done, you just put it on Let it fall onto the plate. Make sure your stove is off. Make sure everything is safe and put away. The egg should end up looking like this. Now we're gonna start, start doing some toast. We still have our nice warm eggs over here. And now we're gonna start making some toast. First things first, pull out your nice industrial grade toaster. Then get your pieces of bread, two normal white pieces of bread, place them in the toaster. First setting, place them back.
And now the toast is done. You obviously carefully grab it with your hand and place it onto the plate. There you go, your toast is done. Now carefully unplug it and wait for it to stop burning. And here we have a delicious meal prepared for us. We'll start by creating the sauce. Now it's a very basic sauce that I like. We all know that ketchup goes on eggs, but I like to add some hot sauce to it. My personal favorite is Cholula. And we'll start by making a nice little puddle of that. And there you go. Now I have a nice delicious meal. All prepped out for you early in the morning. Max, this might take 15 minutes, but I took longer because I have to record this. I'll see you next time. I might make an omelet. Uh, happy eating.